So friends, welcome to Easy Coding with Amara once again. And in this video, I will show you how you can download the PDF file using some link in your Flutter app. So before starting, first I will show you the demo app. So you have better understanding of what I am going to do in this video. So let's open the mobile simply and you will see that when the app is installed first time it will show this type of dialog box and because I am going to store the PDF file in the mobile storage so that's why it show you this type of dialog box to ask the storage permission okay so you have to click on this allow button and when I click on this allow button you will see this type of button which is download and when I click on this download button it start downloading the PDF file so first I will show you the, this type of PDF file and I copy this link from here and then I am going to paste that link here and after that you will see I write the name of PDF file which is new task okay so now let's this run this code and the app is restarted okay so let's open this one and now i am going to run this code but before running the code i will sh want to show you this lock catch and now i am going to click on this download button and when I click on this download button, you will see that here this type of progressing status. So after that you will see here 100% and now I am going to open the mobile downloads and you will see I open my files and after that I am going to this internal storage and I store this PDF inside this downloads. And you will scroll down and you will see here th this type of new task that PDF and now click on this and you will see that this type of PDF is downloaded successfully okay this is the same PDF which is here okay so now let's jump to the Android studio and create a new project and I create this type of new project here first to remove all this code also remove this code and I am going to create a new file here And now I am going to call this file from this plan file. So remove this and paste here. And now press Alt Enter to import this file. Okay, so now I am going to write some dependencies here. And you have to write these. So these are two dependencies and now I am going to click on this get dependencies and after that you have to add some permissions in your manifest file so open this from source and after that go to man and then open this android manifest and paste these three permissions uh, the first one is read and write and then the last one is for the internet and as we are going to write the file so you do not need this read permission but if you want to read some data from the mobile device then you have to write this permission 
and now open this Android Studio and go to this file, my PDF. Okay, so first I am going to overwrite the init method from here. And from this method, I just call the method which is get permission. And I am going to create this method. And inside this method, I am going to pass the permission from the user. Okay, so now I create this method which is get permission. So this is the method which is get permission method. And now you have to click Alt and Enter to import this package. And you will see this line. This line is for the permission for the mobile storage. Okay. So now let's create that button which is download button here. So now I am going to create the raise button here and I am going to use this raise button dot icon. And in this home press method, first I am going to get the path for the downloads. Okay, so by using this code. Just make this method async and for this I am going to import some package. Make sure to do not give any space here otherwise you give, it gives error and now click on this. Okay, so this package is executed successfully and uh, now this code only gets the path of your downloads and store inside this path. And after that, I am going to concatenate this path with the file name and I give the file name to the new task and one. So I give the path uh, file name new task one and store inside the full path. So our file is stored inside the download folder and the name of the file is new task one dot pdf. And now from here I am going to call another method which is download and inside this method I perform all the tasks for downloading the pdf. So here the first thing which I am going to declare above is url. The url of the pdf file which you want to download. And this is the other class which is DIO and this class is basically used to download some things from the URL and I am going to create this class here so these are the two variables the first one is in which I store the URL and the second one is DIO and the, now press alt enter and for this i also going going i am also going to import this package so just right here and then press ctrl s click on this and you will see it is executed so now press alt enter to import this package So this is the code for the on press. Now I am going to write some icon. So I remove this and write this code for the icon. 
and then I give the color for the floating action button sorry for this button which is grace button and after that I set the text color and give some label and inside this label I write some simple that download text okay so this is all about the layout of our app and now I am going to create this download function and this download function is very simple and inside this download function I use this response class to get the data from the URL and inside this class I simply pass the link and you will see here this URL is coming from this and I pass a link from here and I store the link inside this image URL link okay so inside this class first I pass the link and after that I show the progress and you will see the progress one two three inside your locket when I run this app and after that I, I set some options the first option is response type okay so I want to get the data in the form of bytes so that's why I write here response byte so, so this whole function get the data from the URL and store inside this response and after that in this save path variable I simply get the path which I pass here so you will see that here full path and inside this full path I simply store the path of the downloads and after that I can, can concatenate it with the new task one dot pdf so I pass this whole path inside this full path Okay, so now first I am going to press Alt Enter to import this package and you have to import this package. And then I open this path for the write because I want to write the file inside this path which is save path. And then simply I write this response to this path. And at the end I simply close the file. And this whole code is I place inside this try catch and if this code is run successfully then it show the file downloaded otherwise it show this error inside this catch section and inside this catch section I simply print this E and if you have any error then it show this error inside your log okay so now I am going to create this show download progress here and this function simply prints the progress of the downloading file okay so now just run this code and see what's happen i click on this run button okay so friends the app is running and you will see this type of dialog box i click on this allow button and now this type of button click on this button and you will see this type of dialog this type of progress and it's completed 100 percent and now i'm going to open download file and open this file open the internal storage then go to downloads and you will see here new task one so this is the new task one file open this file and this is the pdf okay so in the next video i will show you how you can store this pdf inside the file storage and after that how you can retrieve the pdf and show in the pdf section okay so if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and also share the video with your friends 
See you soon. Allah Hafiz.